Hey everyone, it's Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to rank for thousands of keywords using Google Search Console. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. So the first thing I want you to do is to log into Google Search Console. It should look something like this. And what I want you to do is click on your website profile, um, and you can switch them here at the top. Once you click on your website profile, then I want you to go to search results and click open report. And this will show you the traffic, all the queries that are driving you uh, traffic from Google. But what I want you to do is click on the pages link right there. And this will show you all the top pages that are driving you the most the traffic from Google. Now, you know, the pages at the top for me are uh, Uber Suggest related and most of the traffic comes from people just typing in Uber Suggest. But I want you to look for blog posts with high impressions or web pages with high impressions and not as many clicks. So for example, here's one, this gets a lot of impressions, 6.3 million impressions and 221,000 clicks. Now your site is probably gonna be scaled down in which you won't get as many impressions or as many clicks, but percentage wise it may be similar. Um, and another one below, this one's on affiliate marketing, but let's just take this one for example. First off, I want you to click the arrow here so you can go to the page and that'll load up in a new tab. Uh, but on top of that, I want you to click on that page within Google Search Console. And you'll see the URL, clicks and impressions. Then I want you to click on queries when you click on queries, it'll filter all the keywords that drive traffic to that specific page. And you can also at the top click average position. And when you click average position, it'll show the position that you rank for a lot of these keywords. So I already loaded up the page. And as you can see, I'm getting a lot of clicks from Instagram followers. Now, if I look on this page, Instagram followers, I mentioned it a decent amount of times. So not an issue there with the keyword. But as I scroll down, there's some keywords that don't get as many uh, clicks. So let's look at how to increase Instagram followers. And same thing, I'm gonna see if I mention that keyword, how to increase Instagram followers, okay? So I don't really break down the keyword how to increase, I'm just double checking in case I misspelled it, increase Instagram Instagram followers. Okay, so as you can see there, I don't really mention the keyword how to increase Instagram followers. If I added that keyword within my text and blended it in, I'm more likely to rank for that keyword. So that's one keyword that I should add to my page. Now let's go to the next one, how to get more followers on Instagram. Okay, how to get more followers on Instagram. I don't mention that key phrase either. Uh, real followers, let's see, this one gets 3,000 clicks, 19,000 impressions, real followers. Okay, I mentioned it twice, not too bad. And let's keep going down the list. You wanna keep going next, next, next. Um, and let's look for other variations. How to increase followers, how to gain followers on Instagram. Let's look for how to gain followers. How to gain followers. Heck, do I even use the word gain? Let's see. Gain. I use the word again. Gain. I use it once. Use gained. Um, but yeah, I don't use that exact phrase of how to gain Insta Instagram followers or how to gain followers on Instagram. And if I just keep going down and down, IG followers. Let's see if I mention IG followers. IG followers. I do not mention IG followers. That's another keyword that I can include. So I, ho I hope you're catching the drift. All you're doing is you're literally just going next, 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 next. And even if your page only gets 100 clicks a month from Google or 200 clicks, the more you do this, the more traffic gains you're going to get. And all you have to do is just modify your content to include the keywords that make sense. And if you're already partially ranking for them and getting some traffic, adjusting your content to include these phrases, typically will provide another boost. And once you modify your article, so in this case, I would modify the article. Once I modify it, I would take the URL and then go into Google Search Console. And in the URL bar here, or in the search bar, I would hit enter. And it would say, retrieve data from Google's index. And it takes a little bit to load. 
And once it loads, you can see here, all right, you have all this information, you're all submitted. I want you to click Request Indexing. And once you click Request Indexing, what you'll find is Google will then go and index this page again. Sometimes they index it right away, sometimes it takes them a day or two. But if you're making changes to your page, you won't see the in increase in traffic unless Google updates their indexation of that page. The indexation is them crawling and caching and knowing what that page is about. So if you modified your text, you have to wait for Google to see it. And by putting your URL in here and then clicking request indexing, they're more likely to go and crawl the web page right away. You've updated it and then make those changes and then boom, you'll start ranking for more terms. It doesn't instantly happen. In many cases, it can take a few weeks to a month, but just doing this little simple thing is an easy way to get more traffic. And you know, once it goes through the process, it can take a little while, like as you're seeing here, then it says submit for indexing, submitting, and indexing requested. Um, and you just click got it, and that's it. You're done, and you're off to the races. Now, I want you to go and do this for 20 of your pages that are getting traffic based on the data that Google Search Console is showing you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you want my team at my ad agency to just do it for you, check out Neil Patel Digital. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, tell your friends about it. And of course, thank you for watching. Feel free and um, ask any questions that you may have and we'll answer them or I'll answer them and we'll do our best to help you out and get more traffic. Thank you very much.